Hi there, once again welcome to Agiotech. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to fix this 403 forbidden error on your WordPress website. If you use WordPress a lot, you might have come across this error. And I'm going to show you one of the major causes of this particular error. Even though this site is working, as you can see, this is a site working perfectly. I can see my posts but i can't make a new post because this error is on this site and i need to make sure this error is fixed then i can make posts on this site so when i go to my dashboard for instance you can see this is my dashboard if i want to post something if i go to under post and i go to a new post it's going to give me this forbidden error and i wouldn't be able to make a post so in this case we need to first fix this error before we can proceed so you see when i click you see what i'm getting i'm getting this 403 forbidden it's restricting access to a lot of part of this website so it has restricted me to a lot of access a lot of things are on this side that i can't do at the moment because of this particular error so we're going to jump into it and i'm going to show you one of the reasons why this error may appear on your website so you need to fix this within your c panel and this could be a web a plugin error when you have a plugin you can see at the moment i have plugin all right but i can't even access the plugin page because the error is basically affecting this so if i go to install plugins i'm still going to face this error i'm going to get a 403 forbidden so i can't access even my plugin so how can we go about this we're going to dash into the c panel and then we we'll see how we can actually resolve this so like i said you can see my plugin is also being restricted so in order to do this log into your c panel that's your control panel of your web website and then we can see what we can do the first thing maybe you have to ask, check is to actually disable your plugin folder so one of the things you can do is to go to if you have your public folder just open your public folder and then you go toward your content you visit your wordpress content and you can see the folder you have the plugin folder so you can disable the plugin and then reload your page and see if your plugin is what is causing the issue you can just rename this you don't need to delete it you can just rename this and then load this and go back and reload your page to see but in my case it's not a plugin that is causing this it's actually the ht access file which i'm going to show you how to resolve that so i'm going to name this back so you can try this error first you can try this option first by changing your word your plugin name and then try and see reload your page and see if you can assess posting another page within your dashboard if still not working then the option or what i'm going to do now will be the best to resolve this issue so let's see how we can do that just make sure you're within your public underscore the htm file and then we're going to use the dot ht access file and at the moment i can't see that file over here but what we're going to do is that in order to access that we have to make sure all hidden files are showing so you go to your settings at the far right corner click on that settings and you can see show hidden files is not checked so you can see dot file so i'll check this i'll click on this i'll click on this and make sure that is showing and i'll go towards save it's going to refresh my page and then i'll make sure at least i'm around i have my what you can see i have my what dot ht access so mostly this is the file that will cause that problem and then we have to rename this you don't have to delete it we have to rename this and then we can go ahead and then generate a new one and i'll show you how to generate that one as well so let's just right click and then rename this file so i'll go to rename and then i'll just add one to it and then click on save So we can see we've just renamed this file and we can go back to our website and then let's try and see if we can access the other part of our website whether we can make posts and all this after you change your ht access to ht access one or you change it to a new name you visit back to your dashboard and realize that if you go to post you want to create a post now that forbidden 403 forbidden will be off you will not get that particular error again even if i go back to my page here and i reload this i try reloading this this particular error should what disappear from this site because we fixed the issue so the major cause is the HTML access file 
so we've tried to rename it like i said if you don't have it you can see just go to your settings here and make sure that you check show hidden files and then save just rename it and then when you come back to your dashboard every other thing will be working now and like i said we need to regenerate this htss since we have the .htss we've renamed it let's get a new one so all we have to do is that within our dashboard we'll go to what settings so under settings we'll go to so let's go first go to settings under settings all we need to do is that we we'll go to what we have to click on what permalinks so you go to permalinks okay so when you go to permalink all you need to do is that just leave it at post name don't do anything don't do any change over here just click on save you just have to save this saving this you just go back to your c panel and just try to reload this and then we should be getting a new dot ht access file so you can see we now have what a new dot ht access file which is basically what we want so we've been able to fix this error regenerated a new dot ht access file rename the old one and now our site will be back running as it is and we can go ahead and then we can go ahead and do post and then use our site as we want so this is how to fix the 403 forbidden on your website when you have this issue with basically it could be a plugin or the dot ht access file so this is how to resolve that and thank you so much for watching this short tutorial to like come your way again always remember to visit this channel subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell bye bye